Hey everybody, Jason here. Happy Monday. I am just here sitting in my Tesla selling put credit spreads on Tesla. It's a very nice Monday. We're up another 5,000-ish or so. And since Friday after hours, we saw that rip up on Tesla. This morning, we saw another pretty good move, another $10 or so. Um, the put credit spreads that I had expiring Friday, this Friday, I put in closing orders for most of those. Uh, and the reason is because we basically had four or five more days to go, and a lot of them I could close out for five bucks. I closed out my 700, 695s for $10 a piece, and then the ones that were below that, obviously, they, they were cheaper than that. We still do have just a few sitting in here, the 730s and the 780s. So those two are just sitting there. I um probably we'll get the 730s rolled out i don't think we have too much more to go on those yeah 15 15 bucks but the other ones i didn't want to sit let sit there for a dollar a day gain or two dollars a day when i can use that ten thousand dollars fifteen twenty thousand dollars worth of collateral and open up some new positions uh the one the one thing that we're really down on is our nine ten calls obviously i didn't expect such a rip up prior to earnings uh maybe i should have but that i will let decay uh until we get into the very end of the week and maybe roll them out to the following uh we did butter pretty good uh through 800 this time uh but we did have to test that 800 800 level about four or five times before it really moved up significantly so as as like 800, 850, 900 or such like a mental kind of a mental level and 900 specifically since that is their all their old all-time high I would see the same thing um, is it hitting 900 maybe a couple times before it actually breaks out above it and then we also do have the potential of a decent pullback after earnings um, my thoughts on that though um, like it's it's very easy for me to say right two things could happen it could go up or down um well i guess three things up down or sideways um but the factors that would bring it up are good earnings great earnings fantastic earnings uh which will i'm i'm 100 percent confident in that earnings are going to be fantastic the pe ratio is going to be uh coming into into a place that's way more palatable uh we could have we could have some profit taking where we're definitely for the for the downside we are um in a boat with uh you know retail traders algorithms and the big funds like all those things which potentially could happen right after earnings uh arc invest uh kathy might have to sell off some shares since the stock has gone so high and uh don't be fooled by that uh, one of the things that ARK Invest is limited on is the percentage of their funds that can be in one company. So if, and I believe that that limit is 10% and she wanted to change it to 11%, but if the stock grows so much as to where um, it's becoming 12, 13% of the portfolio value, she'll have to sell some of those shares. So you might see, you might see some news, you know, Kathy, Kathy Woods sells Tesla, um, but that's likely to happen. So that's what I see after earnings. We have, we have all those things, but because anybody that talks about it, you'll hear them, you'll hear them say the exact same thing, run it before earnings, probably a sell off after. And because we have that expectation right now, the, that sell off could pretty much be baked in um, and I think they've, since Tesla has proven this 50% year over year growth and their margin is increasing, everything's, you know, just to the positive, maybe they've proven something and it'll continue up, but, uh, my crystal ball does not work so well. So, um, I, you know, I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, but even with that said, we did get really aggressive with the, with the put credit spreads that we opened. Um, I mean, these were these felt pretty aggressive at the time, but we did open up some 795, 795, 790s, some 830, 825s. These got filled for $105 a piece. 
and we have our 10 more 800s 795s so we got filled at 80 bucks a piece for those and then we have some other you know odds and ends some 795 790s stuff like that we did get those filled um but my confidence with holding those things are very high because even if earnings go sour there's a sell-off afterwards as soon as we get close to touching any of those numbers i have no problem rolling those out uh, I can roll them out three months, six months, um, whatever, you know, wherever I need to be probably, uh, towards the next earnings is where I would roll them out to initially because everything is just, everything that's happening now is happening exponentially in the future. So they're opening up two more factories. Uh, one those, once those gets, get ramped up and production levels go up, uh, we'll, we'll just back into the valuation, even if it's, if it's a little bit high right now. The other thing I did Dropbox, those, my, my leaps, uh, I sold those because the calls I sold against them, basically poor man's covered calls. Those expired last Friday. So I went ahead and just sold the leaps, not interested in messing with that anymore. Just sticking to just sticking to the Tesla put credit spreads. Those are good with me. And in this time when we're coming towards earnings, I'll probably just hold a little bit of buying power unless we have a dip before then. Then I'll deploy some of this. Uh, one of the things that somebody's, actually quite a few people have asked for is a uh, is another like a 500 to whatever $100,000 challenge. So uh, good news on that. I will be doing that 100%. But with a few little caveats. So I'm going to I'm going to open up another account in Tastyworks just for that purpose, but instead of a 500 to whatever, it's going to have to be a 5000 to whatever just because I I want to make it worth my time to be in and out of that account and and trade that account. But what I will do is everything I'll do, I'll do in lots of 10. So that way, if it's, if it's, a, if it's a play that I'm making for 5,000 and somebody wants to follow along, they can make that same play for 500. And I'll just keep it like that. So I guess, I guess the 500 into 100,000 will be a 5,000 into a million. Uh, I don't expect that to happen this year, but uh, crazy, crazy things happen every once in a while. Uh, but the, before I open that up, the, I have a couple things I need to clarify. I wanted to move it into Tastyworks under a Roth IRA, but, um, from what I understand, uh, because of my income, I can't contribute to a Roth IRA. I have to put it into a traditional IRA and then I'm able to take that money and stick it into a Roth. I can't, uh, I think it's like a Roth conversion is what they call it. So I can do that down the line. Uh, but then I, the money goes tax free into the IRA and then it gets taxed, uh, moving it from the IRA to the Roth IRA, which is, which is fine. It's just, it's just part of it, but I wanted to stick some money over there and that'll be a, a new clean, 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 clean account. And, um, I, I sent off some questions to my, my CPA to, to clarify those few things so we can get that going. Uh, other than that, this is it. Maybe no more moves for the rest of the week. Uh, and just another note on some of those ones that I got very aggressive on, like the 795s, if we do happen to have a major pullback to 750 or something like that, or these 830s, if we do have that major pullback, that was the same situation I was in a long time ago. And that's what, that's what like these positions were from. So these were up $16,000 on now. Um, they has, it has been $35,000 worth of collateral sitting there for nine months, something like that, eight or nine months since we had that last big sell off on Tesla. Um, uh, but this is, this is earning money um, and growing this account over several years. That's the goal. It's not to it's not to double or triple it, um, which I'm fortunate it has. But that wasn't uh, my initial goal. I mean, I'm super lucky, super blessed, and fortunate that that had happened. Um, but you know, 
if we need to do this at some point, then we get to do this at some point. And uh, one of the notes on there too. Um, so when I rolled out to this position, also understand I was able to collect $600 for each one of these put credit spreads when I rolled out to this point. So that means I had whatever, 600 times 35. Uh, so what is that? That's uh, 18... I don't even know. I should grab a calculator. I guess that's 18 or no, 600 times 35. So we were able to collect $21,000 worth of collateral, which I used along the way, obviously to sell more put credit spread. So that was the big loser. Um, that was the $35,000 worth of collateral that I was able to roll out, collected $21,000 and we were able to use that to grow, you know, along the way while we're waiting for that other, that other money to recoup. So that's huge. That doesn't even seem right. 35 times 600. That's what it was. $21,000 massive. So with those 800, those 830s and things like that, that's the exact same thing I'm willing to do. And I do have several positions that are lower than that, that shouldn't go in the money. Uh, if they happen to, we'll do the same thing. Um, and other than that, I think that is it uh, for today. Other than it's pretty funny seeing days like this. And uh, if you guys don't know, I, uh, for my day job, I do outside sales. And <laughs> this is, I, I got my commission report, basically like what I make for the two weeks. And, <clears throat> and it's funny to see these days where we're up five grand. And my commission report is not that much. <laughs> so... Not this week. It was a little bit lower this week uh, than the other ones, but hey, uh, that's the way it is. And I guess that money is zero risk coming in and we get to pay taxes on it. All right, guys. Love you. Any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to get back to you. All right. Uh, have a great day and let's make a lot of money.